Anglers Extra. Scott Winterburn is our catch of the day on the Anglers Extra pregame show. Scott, it's a little bit of a different flavor now that you're out here. No longer the head coach, just the pitching coach. What kind of a different role is it for you? Oh, it's a welcome role. I mean, I uh, shift gets to make all the all the hard decisions, and uh, and I get to work with the with the pitchers back to practicing, back to doing the things that that, that help kids directly get better. So I'm, I I couldn't be happier. Now I should have mentioned Laverne is where you're usually coaching, but out here in the summer, now your second summer, you're a little bit into it and you know how things work. And by this point in the season, guys are calling their own game. Pitchers are calling the game with their catchers. Does that give you a certain amount of satisfaction? Oh, definitely. I think that's one of the goals of these kids when they when they get here. They're prospects and and along with being a prospect on the mound, we've got prospects behind the plate. And when they go to pro ball, uh, they're, they're going to have to do those kind of things. So what I try and do is transition them into, do that, into doing that, talking to them all the time, you know, having meetings, talking about uh, situations and hitters and people's pitches and how batters uh, are, are affected by what they call and, and those kind of things. So hopefully the transition's gone smooth. I think you can see it in the numbers, and um, our kids are doing a great job. Scott, I think the memorable meeting that I remember hearing was you talked to guys about one-two counts at the midway point in this season. You said, look, when we throw a strike on one-two, we get outs. And that seemed to really resonate with guys. Are there any other kind of whole staff meetings that you've had with any information like that that you can give us some insight on? Yeah, I, I think the most important thing is is teaching these guys the pitches that they already possess and what they can do with them. I think they come here and they, they know the league is good and and, um, and and sometimes they tend to go away from some of those big strong hitters and, and instead not not trusting you know uh, their stuff and and so the mentality of the one two count it, it really just speaks to what they're able to do in those situations attacking the hitter versus may, maybe pitching around them a little bit. Snapshot of this point in the season, you started the year with many more pitchers than you have now, but you still have a pretty good-sized staff, a normal-sized staff. So what's different as far as how you do your job now versus when you guys had 18 guys on the staff? Well, I think when we had 18, there's no question about it. We had the luxury of maybe going and getting an extra guy for an extra matchup late in the game. And you saw that in, in the early part of the season as we, we went through a lot of pitchers at the end of a game, maybe one in here, one in there, really gearing it toward the lineup that we're facing now. Um, you know, we don't have that luxury as much anymore. So, uh, uh, you know, guys are going to uh, maybe be stretched a little bit more, one one inning to two innings, inning stints out of the bullpen, um, getting lefts and rights out, you know, alike. So I think we've th the numbers have, have come down to where, you know, each of our guys are going to have to extend their role. And I didn't forget about what you said about watching prospects earlier in the interview. How about the guys from last year? It was your first time out here in the summer, and now a lot of those guys have moved on, guys like Keith Bilodeau, yeah. playing professional baseball. How yeah. much do you get a chance to pay attention to what they're doing? You know, not not a lot. I mean, um, you know, we uh, twice a week or so we'll, we'll get on the Internet and look guys up or maybe shoot somebody a text or we'll get some a text from somebody. Um, so we just kind of keep tabs on them maybe once a week, but it sure is gratifying to, to see their names in print and, you know, know what they were doing here last year and that, you know, it's carrying over and they're they're off on their way. And I know there have been people that have been around the organization for more years than I can remember, but it's your second year. Have you kind of started thinking about any kind of legacy that you might be able to leave with the organization and what would that be? Well, I, I really haven't thought about it too much. I, I, I think what I focus on here is just trying to go literally, I know it sounds like a cliche, but really just one day, coach one day, coach the players that are in front of me. Uh, if I do a good job of that, I think everything will, will fall where it's supposed to. Well, hopefully we planted the legacy seed in your mind a little bit. Scott, thanks so much for the time. Uh, no, no problem. My pleasure. Absolutely. This has been Scott Winterburn on the Angler's Extra pregame show as we flip it back to Brandon. <laughs>